John, I have been watching you give speeches for 12 years, as long as I've been a Toastmaster. And I honestly think this is your best speech. I've seen a lot from you. Here's why. Um, some background on you is you love a good story and you told many over the years you really loved the tall tale um, theme for several years and there were contests and you really dug in and did that so storytelling is here for you and storytelling seems um easy or natural and it's not like storytelling is really hard this is one of my personal goals and i have to tell you i've got a long way to go and like any storytelling just like you said about dolly she had um 3,000 songs and the majority of them none of us know about right so storytelling sometimes it's great sometimes it's good and sometimes it's meh and this one was definitely in the fantastic category your story um but using dolly as your theme to tell this um to give your speech was spot on um i was looking at the comments in 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 chat about using dolly and how people love her i'm not a country music fan but i i love dolly and i think there's a lot of people in my um in my position so using her and just the success she's had over her career to uh, move your story along was really spot on. So that was really good. Now, as far as you, the setting, at first I thought you're in front of a fireplace because it definitely felt like a fireplace chat. You look comfortable, you were like this and just, um, I did figure out it was a fish tank, but you, you set the stage, right? We talk a lot about visuals in our meetings because we are doing things via Zoom. Can we hear your voice? What does your background look like, et cetera? And you really set it up well, because that's not always your normal spot when you attend meetings. So you set it up and I, you, you, the stage made me feel ready to hear a story. Like I knew it was gonna be a story um, by your setting. I knew it was gonna be a story by your great introduction. Your introduction really um, helped us. So you like to, and I appreciate the fact that you give snip snippets. So you said perseverance, change storytelling, right? So that sets the stage and that's um, something that you 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 continually do. And, and I appreciate that because then you kind of know what to expect, but you don't know how you're going to do it. So that um, got us in the mood and ready to tell. When you had something you wanted to emphasize, you went like this, pardon the sun, you went like this and leaned in, again, bring us in, again, feeling like a story. Um, and your language, gosh, you had just great, great language today. So I'm gonna read some of the things that you said. 3,000 songs all day, any day. Great visual language. Like I can see, and you mentioned a napkin. I can just see this, right? You can see a dolly fervently writing things because she just has to get it out of her brain. Like that was really great language. Um, a blonde girl fought the good fight and won. Um, and what what we can do is learn from and toastmasters learn from dolly that was kind of the message of this it wasn't just a dolly parton story it was a message and how we persevere practice 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 how we change trim the deadwood was a good item and then the story a good yarn not a good yawn so great and you were within time which you know sometimes is a challenge and you you knocked out of the ballpark this time john so really great job i enjoyed your speech thank you Mm-hmm.